بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay now in this video we'll see how to integrate the iOS XRV image inside the Genius 3 In the previous videos we have seen some some of the options of integrating iOS or the iOS images as well as integrating with with the VMs So the first thing if you if you want to run some iOS XR uh, on the Genius 3 you need to uh, have two things initially The first thing is like so download the appliance file from the Genius 3 website Now this is uh, this can be an appliance file so I'll show you the link so you can you can go to the Genius 3 website uh, go to the appliances and download any of these images and the uh, second thing is once you download this image you also need an iOS XRV image which can be downloaded from the Cisco website and to download this you need to have a uh, official uh, partner login and once you once you have a partner login properly you can download any one of these images you can see the naming wise it looks like this this is the two different versions supported inside the Genius 3 Uh, even you can use uh, some different versions uh, also can can also be used inside the genius 3 now the basic prerequisites for the appliance to run uh, you need to have at least 4 gb of ram allocated for the for each each device and also you you must have this kmem feature enabled uh, inside your inside your machine so already we we did this in the genius 3 vm uh, in general so at this point of time i do have a genius 3 uh, pre configured and installed as per the requirements Now this is the official uh, Genius 3 link uh, appliance file. You can you can download the appliance from from here, or you can use another link. Actually, this link may work, may not work. Or I have an, another link here, or you can go to just go to Genius 3 dot com marketplaces and the appliances and search for iOS. So there are two different iOS XR images supported. The first one is XRV, which is uh, newly added. and also you can use any of these images so i'm using this image so you can download any of this appliance file so you can see already in my download folder or you can just click on this link once you click on this link it will uh, start downloading this image you can just click on download now i do have this already in my image you now here you can see this is the xrv appliance image in the folder now next open up your genius 3 genius 3 is already uh, running here in the back end with the vm So already I do have a VM also uh, set up. The next thing we need to go to File and import the appliance. Now here we need to select the appliance file which I have downloaded just now. To select this appliance file, and this is how it looks. It shows you the product is iOS XRV, and just you need to go with the uh, next. Uh, we are we are going to integrate this with the Genius 3 VM here, so that is the only option supported here. and then just a couple of next options so if you already have an image so these are the two versions it actually supports you can if you have already this image you need to select this image and then and then you need to just download this so let's say i'm selecting this one you need to say import and then select the image wherever you have you have downloaded so you need to select that image okay so of course this doesn't work because it's a different version here So already have added the image here. So it takes some uh, five to ten minutes, somewhere around that time, to upload the image. You can just click on next, and then uh, some next options, and then finish. So you can see already this is already in use. So I'm I'm just going to cancel this one. Okay. So I already have added this one. So once you do this, and now if you if you just select the device here, the routers, you will be able to see the installed appliances. So I already I already added these images here, so I can I can actually see this one. And then you can go to the new blank project, select any new blank project, and then okay. Then now simply I can I can drag and drop this device here. and i can click on start and console just like i do for with the remaining devices so you can find some documentations from the genius 3 website like here you can see how to import you can find the steps so almost all the appliances it's almost the same process here whether you are 
doing the IOS V or IOU options as well. And if you don't find any specific images, probably you can you can click on this new version and you can add a different image also.